Welcome back to Cars of Queens, guys. I know I haven't been posting in a long, long time, but this is gonna serve as a little bit of a fleet update and a uh, basically a video on what's to come. So this is one of my latest purchases. This is a 2004 New York City taxi cab, uh, long wheelbase P70 taxi package, as you guys can see, the big long door. This car is uh, very, very, very rare. So, of course, this is a 2004 model year. Only the second year that they started offering the long wheelbases. Um, before that, it was, of course, the short wheelbases. Very uh, interesting car, as you guys can see. Has double the KGT guards, front and back. Very hard to come by these cars nowadays. Even in New York City, you don't see many of these. These are really starting to die out. But I picked up quite a few cars in the, uh, in the span of the last few months where I haven't really been posting. This one's, of course, a little bit worse for wear. As you guys can see, uh, the cabbie that drove it, the original cabbie, uh, and the original owner is the one I bought it from. As you guys can see, he kind of messed it up. Um, kind of rusty in some spots, but you do see the original yellow paint. Inside, this guy didn't really take much care of it, but I mean, what can you, what can you... Some tears on the seats got the rear ac vents these are exclusive to the lwb new york city taxi package let me know if you guys want to see a video comparing the regular crown victoria p71 uh, as opposed to the long wheelbase um these vents are kind of broken this one kind of works yeah but these are exclusive to the new york city taxi package so the customers could get ac back here if you guys notice in some new york city taxis what they'll do is they'll literally have like a pipe connecting the vent all the way to the back just so customers could reach it on like the escapes and some of the new toyotas but in the crown victoria they just put vents here because they were thinking about new york city some more yellow lots of yellow uh remnants i mean they got the uh the taxi special the 700 dollars any color uh any car paint job i don't know what they did with this bumper right here it's cracked and then i i, I don't really understand what was the point of this they should have just thrown the whole thing out but always, always, always love to see the KGTs. The company went out of business in 2019, so you don't see these anymore. Very, very nice, very classic piece of New York City history right here. Uh, they also made the, uh, the bumpers for the NYPD, the, the front bumper guards. Coming into the inside, it's got the original odometer. There's 267,000 miles on it. Let's fire her up. Relatively quiet for what it is. Let's turn off the AC, we don't need that. It's a chilly day, but it's 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 uh, relatively quiet. You know, no exhaust leaks, surprisingly. The AC doesn't work as cold as it should. It's kind of it's kind of warm. But yeah, you can see this guy really did not take care of it. I really, really wish that this car was a little bit, uh, you know, better taken care of, but for 1200 bucks, I mean, you get what you get, right? Um, it's leaking some oil. Thankfully, it's not overheating at all. No intake manifold leaks. Um, and uh, now let's move down to the uh, the engine. Under the hood, of course, is the glorious 4.6 liter V8. Yeah, this guy really did not take care of any of his stuff. It's got a bunch of oil leaks, you know. At least he gave me some oil to top it off every once in a while, but you can see this is not the uh, most cared for crown victoria in the world now, at least we do have some blue silicone hoses interestingly this engine is from a 2010 but this car is a 2004 so um apparently it had like a head gasket leak and the guy just uh opted on getting an entirely new engine and uh you can definitely smell the oil and you see some of the yellow very nice to see but I really wish this car was taken care of a little bit more. It's gonna need a lot of TLC. Would you look at that? This is falling off. <laughs> As you guys can see, we have a broken corner light being held in by a paper clip instead of a screw. Now looking under the trunk of this car, there was a few goodies that the guy decided to include. One center cap, and then we have a center cap for an Aero Crown Victoria taxi cab. So this guy's been driving for, I think, around 
uh, between like 1988 and uh, I think 2008. So this is off of his, uh, I think 95 or 96 Crown Victoria. And then he included some uh, power steering fluid, some ATF and whatnot. We have a really, really clapped uh, spare wheel also. Still see some more yellow over here. I really wish the car was entirely yellow. I wouldn't have to repaint the whole thing. And of course the body's in terrible shape. I mean, the guy took, you know, no care of it. And uh, some birds decided to leave some droppings here for me. And for those wondering, the original medallion number on this car was 5C36. So if you guys uh, end up finding pictures of 5C36 online, um, you know, whether it be from the 90s, the 2000s, this car was in service until 2008 and he kept it as his personal car since then. But if you guys do find pictures of 5C36, do let me know. Uh, I'd love to uh, see this car in service. Now, believe it or not, this is not the only car that I've purchased in the last few months. We have a bunch of new cars coming. It's kind of one of the more regrettable purchases. I mean, you look at every single panel on this car, it's kind of, it's really, really beat. But, you know, the reason I had to buy this was because of these KGTs right here. These are very, very hard to come by. You simply do not see these anymore. They're just so incredibly rare. And, uh, and they're a piece of New York City history. The company went underground, you know, without any, any notice. I mean... I would have loved to buy out their stock, but I know some people did clean them out totally. Um, but of course, this is a special car in its own regard. And I have a few other cars coming. If you guys have any idea what those cars are, make sure to leave a comment down below with your guesses. We have something very, very special from a, another YouTuber coming soon, uh, maybe in the next uh, month or two. That's going to be very, very cool. A collab video. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe and uh, see you in the next one.